wise choice. Hey guys, and welcome to this. All right, folks, got a beauty for you today. I've done this a few times, but it has been quite a while, folks. I've, I've adapted it for the modern age. Our good friend Cyana is back. And this time, this is the big old combo piece. I'll get right to it, folks. You have the Dagger 2 blades under the protection, ideally, of the Covenant of Steel. Then you play the Cyana. And you have the big old finish in the double Wild Boar of the Sea, folks. For big old point swings, big old wins, and uh, just big old good feelings. All right, folks, so let's get to the real, uh, the rest of the meat and potatoes of this deck piece, all right? Now, we've got some sensational thinning. We are playing Ursine Ritual. One leader charge will be for Ceres. Bring out those trusty shield maidens, all right? And sometimes you may even uh, fool your opponent into thinking banishment or whatever else into the Ceres. They might uh, have flashbacks of the old lippy days of old. But, uh, you know, we'll see. More thinning. We got Raiding Fleet, which brings out one of your four longships. We got two Uncrates and two Dimon Lights longships, okay? Now, these are great uh, proactive plays. They're great for damaging units for, you know, your Dagger and your Wild Boar of the Sea as well. We got two, uh, what, what do we got? Two skirmishes with two scouts. Great thinning and tempo as well. Uh, we got one Pella, one Squirrel, one Seagull. Okay. We got two phrase Blessings. Usually you'll use these to bring back your ships, your Uncrate long ships usually. We got the Veiled Carl for a big old 12 point play. Sink three of your leader charges into this. As for your final leader charge, just sink it into some armor or something and you get a bare abomination for the trouble. Uh, what else? Sigdrif is right. Usually I use this to bring back the 12 point champion of Svalblood, but it can be used to bring back a Covenant of Steel or a Dagger 2 Plage, for heaven's sakes. Karathi Heatwave, take care of business. And a Neuromancy, get you whatever you need, for heaven's sakes. And the Crystal Skull, usually good on a Uncrate Longship. Okay? So look, enough faffing from me. Let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is not doing it right, folks. Let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right now. Alrighty. What's that? Uh, tactical decision. Okay, folks. Let's set a course for adventure and strap in. This was going to be a battle for the ages. I just know it, folks. Alright. Good and good. Good. Uh, could be okay. Uh, that's good. Yeah, let's see. Some of this stuff we don't really need at this juncture, folks. Okay, 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 okay. All good. All right, well, let's uh, start as we mean to go on here, folks. Let's get out the good shield maidens. Very nice indeed. And maybe if we're lucky, we might fool this fella into suspecting that this is the lippy deck of old. Ooh, one of these types. Okay, I haven't played against this too much, to be honest with you. So let's see how we fare. Let's just continue that beautiful thinning we've been talking about, folks. And we'll give that a bit of the, uh, the crystal skull treatment there. Very nice indeed. Just like that, folks, we're down to 12 cards. We're going to get down to 11 with the Scald and the Skirmisher. This is a heck of an opening hand. Uh-oh. Okay. That could have been a lot worse, folks. It really could have been. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Let's continue this, just like we talked about, folks. Get that Skirmisher onto the board there. Very nice indeed. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Now what? I mean, we could play the Veiled Carl, set it up for a later on Sigdriffa's right. Nothing worth uh, squirreling away at this juncture, folks. Um, hmm. I suppose we can get away with this uh, Dim and Light Longship. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 
We're holding our own. He's still got two bleeding on that fella. Okay, here comes the big play. Here comes leader as well, no doubt. That's okay. We have a very nice heat wave in the snowdrop if need be, and the big old Vilkar play as well. Don't forget about that faction. But, uh, yeah, Squirrel, we're not really going to be playing at this juncture. Cyana, of course. No way. No way, no how. Okay. That's, that's a big old play. It's a big old fashion play. Are we going to get better value than 12 for the heat wave? We may well do. Let's play that Veiled Carl Fags. Go ahead and do just that. And I'm going to use that final leader charge on the seagull there. Very nice indeed. And heck, we might even get the seagull back out into play for some emergency points here, Fags. So both leaders out of play. Oh, okay. It's the Ren Freestyles. Good to know. Um, okay. Let's get that seagull out. Very nice and deep. And I guess we play the heat wave. That'll do. But uh, we're running out of stuff to play here, folks, to be honest with you. Mm. Yes. Well, maybe, maybe we got to take the pass here, folks, while we can. I hate to do it. I really do. But looking at this hand, mm. okay, so he's only going to have the three options. No rune mage. Mm. The curse of sloth. And, okay. The Blessing. Does it say The Blessing? No? Okay. Mm. Well, look, uh, Squirrel, I don't think you're doing anything for us. Not bad for a dry pass, but will we face a dry pass, folks? The other... Oh, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. Got all our key ingredients. Is he gonna bleed us dry, folks? Yes, okay. He doesn't, that's good. Alright, let's do this. A touch more thinning, folks. Get rid of that. Very nice indeed, okay. And we make it into a nine card round three, folks. We don't have last say granted. But, let's see how we fare. So, Squirrel, you're not gonna... Nah. I mean, he plays no specials here, folks. Although, he, I think he did start with a 26-card back, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Pella. What else have we got here? Pella, I don't think we need you, so... Okay. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we'll probably a near a Mancy for the long ship there, I imagine. Uh, yeah, so let's just start it slow, folks. Do we want to put down the Covenant of Steel to protect our long ship? I don't think we do, folks. I don't think we do. Yes, it may have, may prove prudent to, to put that down early on in the piece, but I think it's far more crucial, folks, far more crucial, to protect the dagger and the cyanar, of course. Okay, this armour is going to be pesky business, no doubt. So why don't we uh, rain down the blessings upon us and bring back another uncrayed longship. <laughs> but you know this uh, this blessing is pesky business pesky business for my uh, damaged units the enemy damaged units rather but with the help of Cyano we don't really need to worry about it but I must say this armor is certainly chaffing my chaps so we got the 12 point play in the Sig Drifters right that's very nice mm, oh going to kill that right off the bat. Sensation ability. It's not a soldier, son. You lost out on two value there. Oh, well. Well, shall we blessing for the longship, I suppose. And then we're Nero for the other. I don't think Pella is going to really come in handy for us, to be honest with you, Farge. Do we want to start taking care of some of this armor business? I suppose so. 
Okay. Okay, we're, we're trailing a little bit here, folks. Yeah, okay. Oh, and leader, leader has been utilised here, folks. Can you believe it? Mm, sure. All right. Well, slave driver styles. He's getting a lot of points here, folks. A lot of old-fashioned points. No doubt about it. But these uncrate long ships doing the absolute lord's work for us here, folks. Okay, what's an aromancy for that uh, that other long ship we were talking about, folks? Look at this. It's a long ship extravaganza here, folks. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll start getting rid of some of this pesky armor business. It's uh, at a steep price. At the damage of our own dimmed light long ships. Oh, well. So he hasn't taken care of our uncrate longships, folks. This is very nice. Very nice indeed. Sure. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's see Griffiths right now, folks, for that beautiful champ of Schwalblad. Very nice indeed. And we'll uh, damage units where we can, folks, I suppose. Uh, okay. That'll do. That'll do. But we are trailing, folks. We really are. But we got a big old finisher piece, and our game is pretty much set here for now, folks. We put down the Covenant of Steel. He hasn't dealt with our stuff, to be honest, folks. So, yeah, let's put down that Covenant of Steel like we were talking about, folks. Uh, let's just continue hitting old mate Ramon Turkinel, I suppose. So, next we put down the dagger. Might get a little bit of value from the Uncrate Longship, boys. Mm, very nice indeed. Will it be enough, folks? So, let's play around potential... Tr oh, no, well, as I say. Don't really need to worry about special cards. So, uh, let's get some immediate value for the dagger there. Very nice. Now, hopefully this fella doesn't finish with a big old igni or something. That would be rather devastating. Okay. I mean, that doesn't really help him out, to be honest. It actually helps out my dagger. Oh, yeah, he can sink it into the armor, sure, but that will also help out my wild boar of the sea. All right, now we put down the cyana, folks. Everything is falling into place. Oh, I just don't have a big igni. That would really... Or Yurden or some such. Oh, one special card. All right, folks, strap in. Take a look at this. Let's see. Big old play. Big old plays. 36-point dagger. Is it going to be enough? What's your final play there, Chief? Did it, did it, did it, did it. Mario level bows. It's as easy as that, folks. As easy as that. Let's do it again, shall we? Let's go. Okay. Coming back for more this tactical decision business. Well, we sent them a, a message, folks. I guess it wasn't received. Let's see if we can do it again, folks. So, uh, that's good with that. That can get us a Ceres. Very nice indeed. Yeah, at the risk of drawing stuff we don't really want, I think we're going to hold the line there, folks. Hold the line. Go in second. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? What is this, Dark Deeds? Hmm. It's not Mill, is it? Mill would be pretty bad. Pretty bad. We do a lot of thinning. Oh, well, let's really uh, start as we mean to go on here, folks. Look at that. 15-point opener, one leader charge. But, yeah, if this is mill, I don't like the sound of it. Could be a tough, uh, tough matchup, folks. Tough matchup. Well played. Well played. That old trick. Should have seen it coming. Oh, well, we can bring that back with the Sigriffers right and then sink our, uh, sink our teeth into it. But uh, that is a touch irritating, and he's flipped the coin flip. 
What a rapscallion. I should have seen it coming. Oh, well. Let's continue as we mean to go on here, folks. Just means we really now have to put the pressure on this chap. Now, is it Mill or was that just a, a cheeky little thing? Tibble styles, huh? And he's flipped the coin flip. This guy's a real rascal. Real rascal. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Okay. What to do, Fax? What to do in these darkest of times? Okay. Well, look. Again. Now he's flipped it again, and now we're going. Uh, now we're going second again. So we got that beautiful breathing space. You guys, it's Mill. It's called a dark mill. Dark millage. Pesky business, no doubt about it, Pax. No doubt about that whatsoever. Uh, I don't know that we survive the millage, to be honest with you, Pax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Devastating, devastating. We may have to see if we can eke a win here and somehow 2-0 this chap. Yeah, that's fine. That's a thinning piece. I mean, we do have our cyana, we do have our dagger, and we do have our wild boar of the sea, just quietly, folks. But what to do? I guess... Uh, I don't know. I don't know! What we do, folks? Nothing worth squirreling. I guess we play the dim and light long ship here. For heaven's sakes. Yeah. And if we can kill something, we get these beautiful seagull boys. Uh, Sigdrifer's right would be very nice. And the Covenant of Steel, of course. But being Mill, he's going to win this round and he's going to 2-0 us or mill us out of an entire round three scenario. What to do, folks? Um, what do we do here? I guess that's a pretty good heat wave, I suppose. Uh, let's get let's get our seagull friends out onto the board, shall we? We need some uh, some emergency seagull action here. Um, sure, sure, sure. Pesky business. Damn it. Okay, he's finally uh, searched for something with that cursed scroll there. What to do? Guess we can purify something. Good heavens. Uh, <laughs> We may need to we may need to sink our leader charges, I suppose, folks. Yennefer's invocation could have been a lot worse, I suppose. Uh... Damn it! I gotta win this round, mate. I guess we we try our luck here, folks. We try our luck for heaven's sakes. Because we're not going to make it to round three. Okay. Well. We can double play the squirrel here, folks. Can you believe it? Get rid of the pesky trahern and the invocation there. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine, right? No, 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 no. God damn it. Or we take the tie. We take the tie here. A card down, granted. Yes. Okay, okay. He's really sent us a message we can't soon forget, folks. I can't believe what we're seeing here. So Nero, no good. And what's the other card there? The blessing could be okay. Uh, 
Yeah, that'll do. That'll do it. All right. Well, let's see. We got no defender styles. He's got double last say on us. So he could play uh, Vilgefortz. <laughs> Going for the double Tibor play, huh? Not bad. Not bad, I suppose. All right, let's see Driffers right, just like we were talking about here, folks. Bring out the good old Vilkal chap and sink these beautiful leader charges right into him. Yes, indeed. And may as well go for the armor there. That'll do. That'll do. So he's going to make us draw a card. Okay. Yeah, so we got a dead Aneromancy on our hands, for heaven's sakes. That's okay. Okay, now he's only got <coughs> the traditional last say, not double. Uh-oh. Well, that could really only potentially hurt my Freya's blessing. But I guess we want to use that now on the dim on light longship, I suppose, for heaven's sakes. Yes. Um, everything that can be damaged is damaged. So we're going to hold the line there. Now, once we play the dagger two blades, we can immediately get him up to a big five points with this dim and light longship. Oh, uh, it'll be back up to four, I suppose. Unbelievable scenes. All right, we do that. Do that. Do so he's going to have an answer for our, for our poor dagger two blades. But the wild boar of the sea should be okay. Go on there. Ooh. He must have an answer to the dagger. He simply must. Oh, well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead. Uh, let's make sure that this enemy uncrate longship is taken swift taken care of shall we say by the wild boar river sea okay we've got a decent lead but i dare say he's got an answer to our dagger here folks what's it gonna be deciding something oh okay yeah 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 nausica sergeant folks have we just taken this match Folks, was it ever in doubt? Ever in doubt. Unconventional deck there, fella, but we survived the millage. The stuff of dreams. Now let's try to do it but one more time and let's do it proper for heaven's sakes. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Guerrilla tactics. That's pesky business. Movement. That could really hurt. That could really hurt, folks, but we are going second. Gives us that beautiful breathing space. We got the Ceres. Touch too many ships. I think that'll do. That'll do just fine. All right, let's see, folks. Let's see what this fella is going to bring to the table. Maybe we can tempt out some of this movement with our ships before they uh, spell disaster for us in the end game. Uh, let's see. Now, if this is like the, a trap or non-interactive variant... That's real bad. That's not good for my end game piece. But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we, folks? Pesky business. All right, let's start it slow. Get some of these beautiful longship boys down into the proceedings. Uh, yes, now we got three out of four in hand. So we need to bear that in mind for an eventual raiding fleet. <clears throat> this fella might play that new scenario, which we can take care of with the heat wave, I suppose, in a pinch. Put down that one too. Why not? Why not, folks? Let's live a little. <clears throat> like I say, we got the big Ceres play. The big tempo thinning play. Got the big build car play if need be. Okay, there's one leader charge. You'll have to see that. Uh, what else are you gonna bring to the table here, son? 
Hmm? Come on, let's see it. For heaven's sakes. Not playing in the bush leagues. And Therion. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's put this one down, I suppose. That'll do. Um, yeah, so I think next we do the big Ceres play that we've been talking about for so long now, folks. Oh, heck, maybe Seagull. Okay, another leader charge. Love to see that. Love it. Hmm, maybe we look at, uh, hmm, maybe we look at, uh, you know, sailing on through without our big plays. I don't know. Play a bit of seagull action, perhaps. <clears throat> okay. Went searching for something with the cursed scroll. What are you going to bring to the table? Triad Ranger. Sure. Okay. A lot of points. A lot of points. Take care of that uh, pesky chameleon, shall we, for heaven's sakes. Thank you. And we get a seagull back. Very nice indeed. So there'll be one seagull back in the graveyard. A trail in 20 points. We could make it up. Of that I have no doubt. But I think this fella's going to play. But one more card and we're going to sail on through to round two. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh, though Saskia will bring something. But, heck, if I can just get to round three with a bit of last say as well. Can't really argue with that, folks. Okay, gets that. But, old mate uh, Vildkarl will take it for us. Very nice indeed. Yes, indeed. Love it. Yes. All right, we take it, folks. All right, we're down to four cards. We're going to take it, uh, that beautiful dry pass right into... Uh, Right into round three and meet this fella, Mano Imano, with last say, might I add. But uh, if this is, yeah, the non interactive type, I uh, don't really get, I'm not really going to care for that. Look at this hand, folks. Sensation ability. So, yeah, we can take that pass. What we, all we're really missing is the dagger two blades. And we have an Eromancy for that. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to see. Some skirmishes, the raiding fleet. Need to be aware of the uh, the long ship there, of course. Now, what I'm really hoping is that this is not non-interactive business, because we can't deal with it. Our lifeblood is interacting with this uh, with this chap. Okay, there we go. So I guess we are Nero for the uh, for the raiding fleet. I suppose. Got that and that. That's good. Good, 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 good. I think this is just about as good as we can hope for, folks. But what are we going to be facing? He's got one leader charge remaining. We know that much. Okay. Stuff to interact with. You love it. Love to see that. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, let's go for the raiding fleet, folks. The raiding fleet. Yes, indeed. Very good. So, I think we're going to struggle to have damaged enemy units. It's going to get a lot of that uh, harmony business. There is the mysteries of Lockfane. And that is a beautiful heatwave target if I ever saw one. Yeah. Yeah, we don't care for that. See you, pal. Bye. All right. So, uh, what else are we going to do? I guess we can fry his blessing for a uh, for an uncrate long ship. We can play the scout onto the skirmisher. Hopefully we don't get squirrel or another skirmisher. That would be most disheartening, I suppose. But let's see. You know, knowledge is power. It grows like a flower. Let's deal. Let's see what we're dealing with, for heaven's sakes. Okay, that's pretty good. That's about as good as we could have hoped for, I'd say. 
So two blessings we can get out uh, the two uncrate longships, I suppose. Tempt out that final leader charge. So I don't really want to play the Covenant of Steel just yet, folks. Don't want to do it. I know we could protect the longships, but... Uh, she's not going to do it. I won't do it, folks. Now we're trailing. We're trailing. We got one leader charge apiece. Now will he use that final leader charge on this uncrate longship? Oh, what are you doing, son? Berserker styles, sure. Not a problem. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay, well, we can bring back another one. Another one of his friends. I think we'll do just that, folks. That'll do rather sensationally. Yes. Oh, uh, look, I'll save. I'll save that. For uh, when we get our eventual bag of two blades. So, will he have an answer to the Covenant of Steel? He could have... Um, could have poison. I think it might be time to put it down now, though. Save our longship. I feel. That could be rather nice. Now, if he purifies it, that is disheartening. If he kills it, we bring it back with the Sigriffers. Right, post haste. <clears throat> what are you gonna do, Chief? Can't poison my ships, son. Not on my watch. I simply won't have it. Now, we are trailing, folks. We are trailing, but we got all the key ingredients. The big old simless. The big old simless play. Is he gonna hope for a bit of purification or some such? Yeah, yeah. What's that? The Vryhead Saboteur. Not too concerned about that. And the Dolblathana Bowman. Not overly concerned about that. Every has a yes. Alright, we want to get down this Dagger 2 Blade. It's post haste. He didn't take care of the Covenant of Steel. Let's get down that Dagger 2 Blades. Get a bit of value from the, uh, the, uh, the business. So, let's uh, let's try to get some damaged units here. Get a bit of value for the Dagger 2 Blades. Um, Sigdriff is right. is a nice 12-pointer on the Champus Foul Blood there. Um, what else could this chap have? Weeping Willow, sure, sure, sure. Not a problem. Could be a problem. Could be a problem. Um, let's play the Sigdriff is right. Let's do just that. Oh, I'll save that final. Final thing, I suppose, folks. Oh, but we are trailing. Is it going to be enough, folks? I don't know that it will. It's got a lot of points. These are the sort of points you write home to mama about, folks. Now, come on. Cat Witcher Saboteur. Okay, that was kind of weak sauce. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, you take, take care of business. Taking care of business the old-fashioned way. Cyana, enter the fray. We're trailing 50 points, folks. But we got the final leader charge. We got everything in place. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's see. I don't know if it's going to be enough, folks, for heaven's sakes. Let's use this final leader charge. Take a look at this. Oh, and the seagull takes it. What a finish. Folks, I can't top that. Mario level bounce. Unbelievable finish, folks, from the Harry C. Oh, the stuff of dreams. Seagull saving the day. Unbelievable. Folks, we're going to leave it there. What a match.
Why don't you try it yourself? Thanks for watching.